welcome back second graders. So we are on Eureka module four, lesson 17. So let's go ahead and jump right in and get started. So our lesson objective today is we're going to use mental strategies to relate compositions of 10 tens as 100 and 10 ones as a 10. And what that means is that we're going to just start trading 10 littles for one big. We know that whenever we have 10 of a unit, we can trade those tens for a big. That's what I always like to say, trade 10 littles for a big. So let's go ahead and talk about that. Before we get started, we have some things that we need to remember. We're going to be working a lot today with units. So just as a reminder, we have one, tens, and hundreds, or we could even say H-T-O, hundreds, tens, and ones. Also, another thing that I want you to remember is 110 is equal to 10 ones. So I have 10 littles, it's equal to a big. I also have 10 tens is the same as 100. So I would trade 10 of these littles for this big. So let's go ahead and continue. So I have my hands right here. And how many fingers do I have on my hands? I have 10. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and count my fingers. Are you ready? I'm going to start on this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. I have 10 fingers. So if I have 10 ones and I put them together, that makes a unit of 10. So I could say that 10 ones is equal to 110. So if I separate my fingers, I have ones, but if I put them all together, I have a group of 10. Okay, now what if I change my unit and I have my hands and I say, oh, instead of being ones, I'm going to pretend that my fingers are a unit of 10. So let's go ahead and count by tens now, ready? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So I have 10 tens, and when I put them together, what does that make? Remember, 10 littles equals one big. So I have 10 tens is equal to 100. So if these were units of 10, I can trade my 10 littles for one big. 10 tens is equal to 100. So Let's go ahead and look at this. I have an equal sign, and I've been saying since the beginning of the year that when I have an equal sign, it doesn't just mean the answer to an addition or a subtraction problem. Whenever we have an equal sign, it can also mean is the same as. So you can use that phrase, is the same as, in a number sentence, and let me show you why. I have five plus five, and I have six plus four. And you're probably saying, whoa, Mrs. V, 5 plus 5 should equal 10. Well, let me show you something. 5 plus 5 does equal 10, and 6 plus 4 also equals 10. So what it means is it's balanced. Whenever you think of an equal sign, I want you to think of it like a seesaw. When you have a seesaw, a seesaw is balanced. And when you have a 10 on this side and you have a 10 on this side, it's balanced. So instead of saying five plus five equals six plus four, I could say five plus five is the same as six plus four. Now let me show you something that I'm going to do. I'm going to take away these and I'm going to put another equal sign there. And I'm going to put a 10. Whoa, I've never seen a number sentence like that. But let's go ahead and say it together. Five plus five equals six plus four equals 10. Now, instead of saying equals, let's say is the same as. Ready? 5 plus 5 is the same as 6 plus 4, and that is the same as 10. So it means that they all balance. They all equal the same thing. So let's go ahead and continue. Now, I have a number sentence and I have those two equal signs, so they all have to balance. But if you look right here, I have one one, and I need to add something there to make it equal these. So let's draw a picture of what I have. I have one one, and then I have 10 ones, and then I have one 10. Is that balanced? 
it's not balanced. So let's go ahead and balance it out. Now I know my rainbow facts. We talk about our rainbow facts that make a 10. So if I have one one, what is on the other side of the rainbow to make a 10? Well, I would need nine ones. So if we look at this as a group, I have one plus nine. So what does that equal? That equals 10. So it's kind of like I'm saying 10 ones is equal to 10 ones is equal to 110. And that is a true statement. They are all the same. They all balance. So let's go ahead and look at this one now. What if instead of saying I have ones, I say I have tens. So I have 110 plus blank is equal to 10 tens, and that is equal to 100. So let's go ahead and draw a picture. I have 110, and then I have 10 tens, and then remember that is equal to 100. So let's go ahead and see if it's the same. So now I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing I did on top. But instead of saying nine ones, I'm going to say nine tens because one ten plus nine tens is equal to ten tens. So I have the same thing. One plus nine is equal to 10 and that is equal to 100. So again, remember our rainbow facts. I just mentioned that right now. But remember, if you look at your rainbow facts, that's going to help you with making groups of 10 a lot. So if you remember your rainbow facts, that'll help you a lot. Remember, you have zero matches to 10, one to nine, two plus eight, three plus seven, four plus six, and five plus five. And it also works backwards. So you have five plus five, six plus four, and so on and so on. So whenever you draw a rainbow, draw those numbers underneath them and practice your tens backs. Okay, so what is six ones plus four ones? Can you add that for me? Well, if you said that six ones plus four ones is 10 ones, you're right, it's 10 ones. Let's go ahead and show that in units. I have 10 ones and that is the same as 110. So let's go ahead and look at this fact. Six plus four is equal to 10. That's true. So let's go ahead and look at another one. Now let's change our ones to tens. What is six tens plus four tens? So if I have six tens plus four tens, it equals 10 tens. So 10 tens is equal to 100. And that means that 60 plus 40 is equal to 100. Okay, let's try another one. What is seven ones plus six ones? Seven plus six is 13 ones. So seven plus six is equal to 13. Now, what if I change it up and I say, what is seven tens plus six tens? Well, that would equal 13 tens. But if I write that in numbers, hmm, what does that mean? Would I write seven plus six equals 13? No, because when I have seven tens, I don't just have the number seven, I have the number 70. So it looks like this. 70 plus 60 is equal to 130. So what if you were talking to somebody at home and you said 70 plus 60 is equal to 130 because seven plus six equals 13 and they said you were crazy and you had to prove this to them. Well, if you need to prove it to them, well, you can pull out your HTO chart, your hundreds, tens, and ones. Let's go ahead and look at that again. 70 plus 60 equals 130. So I'm going to go ahead and make my 70. And then I'm going to make my 60, because remember, I don't put it in the ones place because those are tens. So what do I do next? Well, I am going to make a group of 10. So let's go ahead and get 10 tens out and let's move them on over. And then remember, those don't stay in the hundreds. They disappear and they become 100. So what am I left with? I'm left with 100, three tens, and zero ones. So 100 plus 30 is equal to 130. So let's go ahead and practice some. 
if 10 tens is equal to 100, what does 11 tens equal? Hmm, let's think about it. I'm gonna go ahead and decompose my 11, and I know that 11 is 10 and one. So if I have 10 tens, and that equals 100, then 100 plus that extra 10 is equal to 110. Let's go ahead and look at another one. What if I had 16 tens? Well, I'm going to decompose my 16, and I have 10 and six. So 10 tens is equal to 100, and then I would take my 100 plus my six tens, and that equals 160. Okay, let's try another one, 19 tens. Well, I'm going to decompose and I have 10 and nine. So again, I know that 10 tens is equal to 100 and I just have to add nine tens to 100 and that's 100 plus 90 and that equals 190. And that's it for today. So what we're going to do is we're gonna practice on our own and we have an assignment in Seesaw for you. Okay, so you have two pages on Seesaw that I want you to work on. This one says two ones plus blank equals 110. Well, if I look at my rainbow facts, do you remember that? What was the number on the other side of the rainbow when I had a two? It was an eight. So I'm not just going to put an eight. I have to write a unit. So I'm going to write eight ones. And remember with Seesaw, it's kind of nice because you can kind of shrink it down to make it fit. But if you want to make, leave it like that, you can do that. And so if I have two ones plus eight ones, that equals 110. So that means that two plus eight equals 10. Now let's take those numbers and let's play with them. And let's work with tens instead of ones. So if I have two tens and I want to get to 100, do I need eight ones? No, I need eight tens. So now two tens is 20. So what is eight tens? Eight tens is 80. And I'm done with this page. So what I want you to do is I want you to do the same thing on this side, but I want you to do it with these numbers. So go ahead and do that on your own. And that's it for today. I'll talk to you later. Bye.